In this video, we're going to talk about the Vectorworks import options we have in Magic Cube. We have a show here to start out with, a very simple rock and roll rig, various types of fixtures, a couple different trusses. And we can take this file or these fixtures out of this file and put them into Magic Cube and have their 3D position and their patch transferred from Vectorworks to Magic Cube. To do this, there's a few things we have to do to prep the file. First off, the file should be in metric. Secondly, we need to make sure that all of our fixtures have some basic information attached to them. You can find that information in the manual in section 7.23.3. There's some notes stating which fields Magic Q expects to see on the CSV that we're going to use to import. Mainly that if it sees a channel and a symbol name or a vertical focus field, it's going to know the files from Vectorworks and it's going to apply a few things to it to make sure that the import works properly. Here you can see what columns or headers in Vectorworks match up with what fields in Magic Q. So we have obviously our position and rotation. We also have our purpose, which can be used to name the fixture within Magic Q automatically. The channel number would be the head number. So channel number in Vectorworks is head number in Magic Q. Of course, address and universe line up with address and proper universe. Number of channels will help in Magic Q finding the proper fixture in the fixture library to patch your fixtures. And then instrument type needs to be edited, and we'll talk about that in a minute, to reflect the name of the fixture in the Magic Q library. So to get started, we'll start out in Vectorworks. We need to go up to File. And we're going to go to export and we're going to choose export lighting device data and older versions of Vectorworks, this would be called export instrument data in 2021 though they've changed it to be lighting device data in here there are a lot of different options um, you can take your time and check off the specific options that you want or you could just choose select all and it's much easier to edit in Excel. So we'll do all, we'll hit export. It's gonna ask us to save. Now I'm not gonna save because I already have a file prepped for this demonstration. But once you save the file, it's gonna create a CSV file, which you can then open up in Excel or the spreadsheet editor of your choice. And what you'll end up with is a sheet like this. You see that we have our header here. And then we have all of our information for our fixtures. So we have the device type, the instrument type, the fixture ID, fixture mode, and then all of those other fields that we chose. There's a lot of fields you don't need here that you could delete from this spreadsheet when you edit it. There's also fields that you need to leave in, as mentioned earlier, for Magic Q to know this is a file from Vectorworks. Once you doctor up this file, what you should end up with is a much lighter file, a much more simple file with just the instrument type, purpose, position. Here we have our unit number, which is not used by Magic Q. It, Magic Q is going to use the channel number. I kept it in here for reference. Address, universe. I've kept some circuit information, but Magic Q is not going to use that. And then you see that we have all of our position information. One thing you'll notice in this spreadsheet is that I have changed the instrument type name to reflect the manufacturer underscore fixture name within Magic Q. Getting these fixture names correct is key in Magic Q finding the right fixture and patching it. An alternative way you could do this if you're in a bit of a hurry or if you don't want to deal with editing so much of the spreadsheet is you could just make these all generic underscore dimmers or generic underscore dimmer and your fixtures will patch with the right unit ID or head number and with the right address just all as generic dimmers and then you can use magic Q to morph the fixture it's a little bit quicker way uh, if you're in a hurry rather than looking up each individual fixture type and then modifying the spreadsheet um, but modifying the spreadsheet correctly will make your fixtures import automatically the first time around and everything should be ready to go right after the import so once we've edited the spreadsheet, we can go over to Magic Q, and we're going to go into our patch. We're going to go to View Channels up in the top soft buttons, and we're going to choose the option to import heads. Once we do that, it's going to ask us, do we want to overwrite? We'll say yes. And then we can find our edited CSV, and we can click it here in the file manager window that pops up.
Now it's going to give us some options. We can import viz data only. We can clone morph readdress. If we were changing rig options, we could also morph and readdress. This will use the head numbers to clone morph and readdress fixtures that may already be in the show if there have been edits to the show. We can just readdress fixtures if fixture addresses have moved around in a different version of the show. Or if we're starting fresh, we can just choose add. Magic Q is going to process this a little bit. You might see it importing and it's going to count up here as it imports all of your fixtures. And in just a moment, you'll see when it's done, we should have all of our fixtures in place in the patch ready to go. There we go. We can go back to view heads now and you can see we have our Viper performances. We have our Sharpies. We have our BMFLs should all be in the right mode. We have our names associated with our fixtures based on the spreadsheet information. And of course our head numbers and our patch is all there as well. In addition to that, it brought over the XYZ information. So if we look at our viz now, you'll see that our fixtures, just like our Vectorworks file, are here and in the right spot. This gets you into a great spot to start programming right away. Magic Q will auto-generate palettes as set in the patch, just like it would with any other fixture if you were patching them manually, and we can grab our fixtures and locate them. Put in a gobo, change their color, and you're ready to start programming. This is a very easy process to get you from your drawing into your show very quickly. Of course, MVR as it develops will become the more standard way of doing this. However, this is still a more than valid way, especially if you're working on older versions of Vectorworks. Hope you found this useful, and as always, you can find us at www.campsislighting.com.